hello so what's going on you're watching z create so today we are going to learn the masking in text animation so let's create a new composition name it masking maybe to 10 seconds okay looks good uh, let's create a layer Increase the size. Okay. Align it. Okay, let's go. So for the masking, you need to create a shape layer. Just uh, make sure your cursor is here, right here in this window, and press right click, and then go to new. And you can see text, solid, light, camera, null objects, shape layer. This is what you need right now. So before that, I want to create a subtle and cool background. So let's create a solid for that. Okay, let's keep the color of solid somewhere like blue. This looks good. Okay, hit OK. You can name it. Let's uh, Resistant for background obviously so uh, just click uh, just left click and drag underneath the uh, hello okay this is uh, kind of light color so you can dark if you enable the properties of your solid just press alt shift and y on your keyboard and you'll see this window so let's change the color a bit looks good okay so now create a shape layer, new shape layer. Okay, uh, we want to create it, you know, coming from bottom to uh, low. So create a solid, make sure the fill is uh, enabled and you can make the stroke none. Okay, so let's make a solid. Make sure it covers all of your text layer. Okay, so now what you need to do is press P on your keyboard while selecting the shape layer and you will see the position keyframe just hit it and drag it down so it's out of the screen okay now go forward like one second 15 frames and make it come back to cover the text layer so what it has done so what we have done right now we actually make the animation from coming up to down like this uh, now question arises how the text will be appear so for that you just need to come here in the track mat panel if you if it's not visible just click here toggle switch is mod and you'll see if if something's like this appear on your screen just click here and you'll see this just click on your text layer and make sure it's below your shape layer and click here and select the alpha matte shape layer one okay so now the text is here okay let's go to the start so this is what we have done right now nice one more time okay so just like this you can uh, make the animation the way you want if you want it to go from uh, down to up you can reverse the animation you can make the keyframes from like go up all the way okay the shape is hidden right now because of this alpha mat track mat okay you can use them f9 my keyboard and c you can make it more faster looks good okay so just like this you can create multiple shape layers okay let me create something for you put them here let's hurry up and write something the basic of this I just created some layers and uh, now I'm going to create a shape layer for each of them so just see what I'm doing 
Uh, make sure your fill is selected and all your share players should be like you know it should cover up your text which I which we are you know going to animate so press P on your keyboard so I want this animation to go from up and down so like this yeah or maybe we can go from up to down like this drag this keyframe to the start and come and start okay so this is the first make sure it's above the hello text layer let's move to second and this is to cover the words text layer so uh, we done the animation of uh, hello animation is from going from up to down so I want it to coming from down to up the reverse of it so press P on your keyboard put a keyframe on position and let's just start and do this okay so we are done with two now the third you can make it from left to right or right to left it's on you okay so we are going to make it from left to right okay so press p on your keyboard and keyboard keyframe drag the keyframe add one second and make sure the of your shelf there is like this um, okay the one thing I want to tell you about here is uh, you can see there are two properties uh, which share with position with each layer so the first property represents the value of X which means if you um, if you alter it you will see the movement of layers from uh, X coordinate means from uh, means horizontally but if you move them from the second coordinate right after the comma you can see there's a little comma here so this is the y property you're moving the shape there in y coordinate so you're moving it like this vertically so this is the basics of putting keyframes press F9 no keyboard press U easy is them okay so now one by one we are going to make them alpha mat alpha mat and alpha mat make sure you are making the layer the text layer alpha mat okay so let's see what it has done okay cool we can make the animation a bit slow so we can actually see what we have done okay so make the animation like this um, so obviously the hello comes first then what's up and then I'm fine Okay, let's play it. Oh, this looking good. You can see one thing: the, the animation of uh, the You can see one thing: the animation of the text layer. I'm fine. Looks like the typewriter effect we have done in the default animation. I'll attach the link of default text animation playlist if you want to see it and you have missed it. So this is all about today's tutorial. I really hope this is helpful and this is something different uh, for text animation you can use them i personally use this type of animation in promo videos and anyway in lyrical videos of songs so i hope you really like it and this is helpful so just keep supporting me and uh, if you want me to create some uh, animation just inbox me or comment down below make sure you hit the likes uh, and subscribe button so see you in the next video take care